Hello friends, welcome. Now in this video, let's add the roles and permission here so we can assign roles or permissions and also revoke them. To do that, I'm going to go first in the roles and roles resource. And up here we have added the permissions relationship. So let's copy this one and add inside the user resource. We have a form. And let's add right here. Just add a comma, add one more. This is going to be for the roles. And the relationship is going to be roles like this. I'm going to add form components here to not import them. And let's refresh now. As you can see, we have roles and permissions. If I select to the edit user and I want to add, for example, admin, save changes, okay, go, and yeah, we have the admin here, and we can uh, remove that. Right now, if we go in the models, user model, we added this method, uh, so can access the filament. And only the user who has a role admin can access now this admin panel. Right now we added also to the edit user, to the test user, a role admin. So if I log out and log in with this one, we can ha have access to this uh, admin. So I'm going to log out and let's log in with a test example. And yeah, we have uh, access to this one. Okay, now, for example, I want also to have, let's go to the roles. We have a writer, and I want also the writer, the user who has the writer role, to have access to this admin panel. For that, let's go to the users and let's create a new user, and I'm going to name it a Writer this one and let's say writer example dot com add just the date here and add the password. I'm going to add writer role and let's say create. Very good. Now this writer has the role writer. If I log out with this one and let's log in with the writer at example.com and add the password. I think like this. Yeah, we have for all three forbidden, but we can uh, add an array here and say if the user has a role admin or, for example, in our case, a writer. And let's save this. Now come here and refresh. Yeah, we have access. We are a writer here and we have access to the admin panel. But if I go to the roles right now, and for example, I want to delete this. So let's delete the admin now. Okay, yeah, I deleted. And of course, if I log out and let's log in with admin, yeah, we have forbidden because the role admin does not exist. So for that, we don't have that role. On what I want to do in this video also, I want to hide the role admin from the list. So no, no one can access, I can delete that either the admin. So for that, let's run the artisan migrate fresh dash dash seed and come here, refresh. Yeah, we have access now and let's go to the roles. We have only admin. Let's create the writer role and let's say create. Now I want to hide the admin 
role from here, only the admin role. So no one can delete that admin because I want the user who has the role admin to have access to the admin panel. For that, if you go to the filament PHP, and here we have an example for multi tenancy, and we need to add this public static function get eloquent query builder, which is returning the builder. And here we can uh, add the work closer. So let's copy this and let's navigate inside the role resource. And at the end, I'm going to add this method. Just instead of where belong to the auth user, I'm going to say where and say where the name is not admin. Okay, where the name is not admin. And that's it. So by adding this one, we're going to show all the roles except the role where the name is admin. So if I come here and refresh, we have only the writer. We can edit and delete this or all other roles, but not the admin. And now we are okay, I think, for our admin role. That's it about this video and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.